the legendary Earl Hayes Press has been printing material for the film industry since 1915. Every newspaper, license plate, book, passport, product, or dollar bill has to be designed and fabricated so that it can be cleared for the big screen. And these folks have been doing this for well over a hundred years. I recently got to wander through the warehouse and chat with Michael Corey, who has taken on the monumental task of cataloging and archiving this important collection. So Michael, here at this palace to paper props <laughs> and their history, um, when we say that they print stuff up, we don't just mean they're laser printing, they're using original, actual offset printers. Yes, they absolutely are. They, they go back and they do a lot of things the old fashioned way with the old fashioned equipment like this proof press that we're standing right next to. Okay. And we're about to print off a thing that, uh, and we're gonna replicate a prop in a way that has never been done before because we're about to make these. <laughs> I, have, I have spent so much time with this thing and it's back in Photoshop. Yeah, but the treat for you here is that we're going to be printing these with the original cuts used to make them on the original press they were printed on in the original building. So this <laughs> press used to live in a different location in LA and that cut, which is, I can see the Blade Runner ID, yeah. was used in 1981 to make, make these. these. In this shop. Yeah, this is as original as you can ever get. This and we have uh, another aspect of it that's, that adds to the originality of it because as you know, this X here, that this on X, screen. This X is a classic thing that I knew as a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, well, this is, there's two types of this, ruby lith and amber lith, yep. and because it's red in tint, we used it for blacking out portions mm -hmm. of, of stuff. Yeah. Just to, because red, red exposes as black or dark. Right. But they used it yeah. as an actual. And on screen, it looks a little red. Yes. So it's often been misdone as red, but it, as you know, it's made out of amberlith. And when I s first learned of this process and began to replicate them, like with this one, yeah. I made these out of red material because that's how they look on screen. Yeah. And then I found out it was made out of amberlith and I thought to myself, well, how do I get some amberlith? And amberlith hasn't been made in decades. So how do you find amberlith? Do well, they have a stash here? Well, I realized I was in a 100-year-old print <laughs> shop <laughs> and we <gasps> found some amberlith. Oh, wow. Oh, it feels like a substantial That's, amount. It's an untouched actually. roll of amber lip. <gasps> <Wow! laughs> there are so many processes that are are gone. Mm -hmm. uh, dry transfer. I mean, yep. still very, very few people. There's probably. Uh, you know, only a few thousand feet of this left in the yeah. world. And that's probably the majority of it right there. Right, yeah. right. I mean, that's crazy. So we're, we're going to make these as accurate as possible, but there's another step that we've added to make it as accurate as possible. So this photograph is not the right photograph of Harrison yeah. Ford. Okay. Used for the, the Blade Runner badge. It's slightly different from that. Yeah. But it's hard to see the photograph on screen because you only get to see the idea a couple of times. Uh-huh. And... We didn't like this photograph or any of the other ones that were on yeah, there. Yeah, they're so. all approximations, yeah. but not exact. Yeah. So the amazing graphic designer, Kim, yeah. uh, here, uh, she went the extra mile and she pulled a couple of screenshots from the movie yeah. and combined them and created a brand new image of Harrison Ford that's, as Rick Deckard. That's way more accurate. That's way more accurate. And then, because the original badges, the pictures, they were Polaroid photos. Right, right, because ideas out. back then were made, you had a square cut hole yep. punch. Yeah. And, and you, and they, were, the they were probably like, make these as fast as possible yeah, and, and shove them out the door. Yeah, and you just that on there. Yeah, so she went ahead and she created this beautiful Photoshopped image, and then... <laughs> You're kidding me. This pr is... Printed it out as a Polaroid. So we'll be able to make these exactly the same way as they did in 1981 on the same machines in the cut same with building. Polaroid. Yeah. And this is... This is a modern process? That's you a can modern do this, process, Take a digital yeah. image yep. and make it a Polaroid? Yeah, it's, it's this wonderful little device where you can do it even from your phone. What? Take the images from your phone and print them out as Polaroids. So, and then as we, once we get to a certain point in this, I'll show you the other amazing bonus piece that I've added to this to make these even more accurate. I'm getting kind of choked up for, <laughs> for real. Okay, yeah. walk me through this process step right. by step. So right now, uh, the pressman here, Martin, he is gonna go ahead and run this Hi, press. Martin. You're mixing up some... Uh... Yeah, I've already made some ink with some dryer. Okay. put them on the roll. Oh, you don't put it on the cut, you put it on the roll. You put it on the roll. Okay. And you press by yourself. And that's just spreading the ink evenly yes. on the roll. Yes. Oh, wow, even now I see it's... 
It's so you're looking for a specific sheen yes. that tells you it's the right consistency. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying that. Okay. All right. So after it's I do love out, that smell. I have to put the ink on that. Okay. The oh, right. So you'll transfer it from here onto yes. the block, onto the cut. I see it. And each time you're just raising it a little bit, yes? Yes, I'm raising that edge. So gotcha. So now you got the ink on the, on the card. And again, you know when you've got the right amount of ink on the yes. card from the mm -hmm. color and the... Yeah, I'm still to adjust it a little bit more than, As you can see, it starts oh. So these hold it on there yes. as it's going. Yes. This is, okay. to hold the, this is to hold the paper on. There. Ah, and there's your stop, so it goes to the same location every time. What? There you have that first. It's, it needs a little bit more pressure, but it needs a little more. Okay, I get you. Wow. But that's how it was made. And there are, I mean, as I'm looking at this, there are aspects just like that little bit of bleed down there that only happens from real printing yep. that yes. are just so, yes. it makes, when people do digital copies, it's too clean. Yes, you don't get that. No. Oh, that's thrilling. <laughs> and then what I do, I just turn it around and print the other side. And after I print the whole thing and I put the other, Cut so I can print this, the other side. I see. Yeah. But you're and you're gonna run this again because there's still a little this, bit of. Yeah, I, I need a little more pressure on it. Wow. And this keeps on rolling, keeps on spreading yeah. the ink, and keeps on making ink. it really yeah. even. Okay. I can't tell you how much time I spent in Photoshop trying to make that look right and every dot of that freaking circle. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's how, it, that's how it goes. And so you'll, you'll do a, all and right. I'll turn it around and print another one, I mean the other side. So um, then when you go to do the other side. Yeah. I'll take that cut. Um, you make the two cuts so that they're dimensionally identical so they have the same stops? Uh, like you'll pull the one out and you'll put the other this, one in there. I have to put on the other side. Ah. And then I have to play with it until you got the same, on the same. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. And there's there are very few companies left that can still maintain these things. Right. So if something breaks, isn't it, Martin, if this thing breaks down, you have to send it off to Mexico oh, yes. to get it fixed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because those are the only guys that really maintain these things now. Wow. This is the back, the back side of the car. Okay, oh wow. wow, okay. So I have to play with it if you want to get the right. Uh, and get the left-right spacing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like a vice. Yes. I see, with spacers galore. Oh, you're really close, it's, though. It's really close right now. It's just I need to move a little bit more so I can. Oh yeah, sure. Right. Do you accidentally print stuff upside down all the time? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that I would, and I'm just glad yeah. to know that it was that would be a common issue. That looks perfect. Yes. <laughs> now you got front and back. Yeah. So that's a that's this is exactly the registered piece of paper that yes. they began with. Yes. Yep. And Amazing. That's it. The how we make that. That's step one. Yeah. All right. What is the next step? The like next that? step is this this is this symbol right here. This little yellow symbol that goes in it. Yeah. On the badge, and 
interestingly, every single badge you ever see, they're off just a little bit. The eight is off. Everybody replicates it that way because you can see right here where it just kind of kicks out a little bit. There's a little bit of fading oh, right yes there. Oh, yes, I can. It's because that cut was made just a little bit too big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now this has the yellow mm -hmm. that has on the it, yellow. and there's the artifact. Yeah, there's the artifact and that's left because, over from that's too big. <laughs> and that's because this cut is just a little bit bigger than the white space created on the black yep. here. They made it just a little too big. Well, you want perfect edge-to-edge -edge bleed. <laughs> yeah, right? absolutely, that's yeah. what it was, yeah. Wow. Yeah, one of the little unknown details of, of, of movie history is right. that, yeah, they made it just a bit too big. That's, um, I mean, what's also funny is that I, I know that I have done Photoshop work to replicate the evidence of the physical machine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But I had never really considered that, like, making those edges have just the tiniest amount of visible bleed. Yeah, just a little bit of bleed over, yeah. Okay, so what is the next step in, oh my God, I'm just like, I'm, so, I'm in such a happy place right <laughs> yeah. now. Thank you, this yeah. is like fantasy camp. Yeah, absolutely. So the next also, step Also, by this, the way, yeah. hearing this thing purr along. I know, it's great, it's a beautiful, delightful. and that smell. This is like a, a member of your family at this point. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. You know yes. it very yes. well, it's, very yeah. well. <laughs> it's temperamental. Yes. <laughs> yes. Too many years. It can, it can get into moods. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our next step here okay. is to cut these guys out. All so right. we're gonna go ahead and, we're just, they would have just cut them out by hand All right. or with a machine similar to this. Just, All right, just a simple paper cutter. Yeah, just a simple paper cutter. So there's the, the ID card itself, the blank ID card. So now we have to add a name. And at the time, they just used a typewriter which we're gonna set up a typewriter right now and add a name in here. Excellent. Because I just typed it in. So let me get, <laughs> let me get the typewriter okay. set up and then we'll, we'll move forward, so. <laughs> now, the issue is how do you type the name? R. Deckard or Rick Deckard? Now the only surviving example of a badge is this one. It's the only screen oh, you don't so know Oh, so this is a full name though. Yeah, so it's a full name. Well, that, that makes so me wanna go with the full name. Rick Deckard then? We're yeah, let's do Rick, Rick Deckard. Rick Deckard, okay. So this is actually the assistant prop master. Uh, who was a, it? Was a, one of the background police officers? They, they had a badge, and that's the only one known to exist. That's so. the only one. That's it. All right, then I think right. Rick Deckard. Well, Rick Deckard it is. It is. Excellent. All right, let's see if we can do this. It took me a while to get this thing to work because when it first started up, the first time I did this, you would hit a key and it would type something else, <laughs> and it, I had to go through the like restart process numerous times to get it to function right. So. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit off-center, but that's okay for this purpose. So, Rick Deckard, is pretty off. <laughs> yeah, off-center is great, though. Yeah, I know, it works. Because oh, it would have been a government idea yeah. and they wouldn't have cared. Now, we'll put now. the X on. Now, the oh. wonderful folks here at Earl Hayes went ahead and cut these out on their machine for us. They have a machine for... Yeah, for cutting these out. Oh, so amazing. So, this is... This, this is original Amberly. Yeah, I haven't this touched this stuff yeah. since the 80s. Now, this is going to seem a little weird, but I'm actually just going to use a little white glue on this for right now. Really? It doesn't have a sticky bag? No, this has no sticky bag oh. whatsoever because it was meant to hold on with static. It was never meant to actually be adhered down in any oh. way. Yeah. So, I actually just use a tiny little bit of white glue and it's only to hold it on to the corners. That's just, just to keep it in place. Oh, for laminating. Yeah. Because the laminator cause will hold yeah. it. But we also have to get rid of these corners because the badges are oh, rounded. Oh, because they'll get rounded. Yeah. So, and the spacing on this yeah. is that it has to run right down the center of this eight. So, and it doesn't matter. So, you have it right down the center there. And then you can see yeah, the yeah. notch on right. the X is sitting. Meets the bottom of the meets nine. Meets the bottom of the nine. So once we get that lined up. Those are the little things you learn that you learn to know that you can spot fakes and replicas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I've done this, I've made, I think I've made about 30 of these now. And, <laughs> and I, and I, it's just sort of how it do. Now, we have this picture here, yeah. which we can use, which isn't terribly accurate, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the one out All right. that we made out of a Polaroid because oh. we want it to be as accurate as possible. So I'm gonna leave that sitting there. It'll move around on its own, but that's okay. It'll be held in place by the picture itself. Okay, and then so, here is yeah. the... Yeah, you, you wanna cut out a picture? Oh yeah, yeah. totally. Okay, so... Oh, cutting the crop marks. <laughs> it's been so long. 
oh my God, that sound of cutting through the layers of Polaroid. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Okay. Ah, that's close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. You happy with that? I like that. Okay, okay. so. All right. So now we need to round these corners, mm -hmm. which is what this machine is for. A corner rounder. Yep. Oh my God, I was, I literally just bought one of these on Did Amazon. You? It yeah. hasn't arrived yet. We don't want to take a whole lot off. It right. just needs to round And so it that cutter does this. It yeah. cuts just, it just rounds ever so slightly the edge. So now we have the rounded off picture and we're just going to hold it in place with white glue. Again, just a tiny dab. Just a tiny dab. And this, this will also help hold the X in place. Oh, nice, I see. Because it just goes right over top. And if you look at the original. They're not this, all perfectly aligned. They're not aligned all perfect aligned, all. yeah. So you can kind of, because you imagine when they made these things. Yeah. It was, get it out the door, yep, right yep, now, yep. get it done. Now, earlier I said I had another surprise about the manufacturing of this. Yeah. The cornering machine yeah. that we're going to use. It's the exact same cornering machine used to make these. It's been in this building, or been in this company's possession since 1942. So it was and already 40 years old already, when this yeah, movie was It was, was already made. a veteran by the time it made these. So <laughs> right, let's walk over there. I, I still giggle every time I do this. I can because, only imagine. Because I'm, I'm like, I'm walking in the footsteps of the people that did this for the movie. Right. And it's just... You get... And that's a rounded... And you get a nice rounded corner. That. Yeah. You do have to kind of hold everything in place right, by hand. Right, right, right. Because you're relying on... The lamination to do the to do the work for to you to do the final hold yeah. and hold down, and that is all the components inside the lamination. Yep. that's everything for Deckard's ID. Yeah. Crazy. And now the final step of lamination. Lamination, <laughs> dude. Dude. Do you want to sign it first? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, let's let's get put right, a signature. Right, it's got to have a Rick Deckard. Yeah, it's got to have a Rick Deckard signature, and since this one's going to be yours. Might as well be your signature I, on it let's too. Let's do it. I love that idea. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be mine. Yeah, That's no, so that exciting. was the other surprise for it. Sorry. <laughs> let's see here. All right. All right. And then we'll get this guy ready for, for lamination. I mean, there's what's amazing is, is that. So much of the time when we replicate stuff, we're, we're replicating something that's like as issued, right? And we're mm -hmm. going for a level of perfection that like we would consider this a failure out yeah. of our house, yep. right? Because it's like there's so much hand-hewn stuff in it, but the real ones, that's exactly how they were. Yep. And this is like layered. This is like a lot of, there's a lot of dimensional thickness going on here. Yeah, and, and that's the, the one thing when I try to explain to people what the difference between like when I replicate a prop I'm replicating it to be sort of an ideal right, version right. of it. But when we make stuff for film, the, not to, I mean, the, the phrase works, there's a lot of that'll do that goes yeah, on. Yeah, because, well, it's, because it's the clock is running. Yeah, you have a limited amount of time, and the stuff that comes out for film, what you see on screen is not always perfect. Sometimes, movie, and you know this as well as I do, Screen use movie props up close sometimes look terrible. Oh, look they, really they, crunchy. Yeah, I'm, very but, crunchy. You know, there's a, Real offset printing just doesn't look like copying. No, it, it does doesn't. It does not look no. like a toner copy. It's fundamentally, you can tell it's fundamentally something different. Yeah, absolutely. So okay. that should be a completed idea inside that is, of this. That is a completed, other than trim, a completed Blade Runner ID. Oh, right, we have to trim it down. We gotta trim it down. And it doesn't matter that we went over a little because we're about to trim it anyway. So, and these get, these wallet versions get trimmed pretty close. Would you like to do the honors? Can we get? Can I use the corner cutter? Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Stepping. There's one corner. Oh, that looks beautiful. This is the actual machine. That's that. That is the most thrilling part of this. You yeah. know me. You know yeah. that. Oh this yeah, is absolutely. The, yeah. That the I'm. You know the walking in the craftsperson's. Footsteps. And, and it was the same for me the first time I walked through this process. I realized as I was doing this and the folks here at Oral Hayes are saying, oh yeah, that's been here since the 40s. It's the only one we have. 
that press is the same one that we ran these IDs on, that I was walking in the footsteps of the folks that worked on yeah. Blade Runner, one of the most amazing sci-fi films ever made. And then there you have it. Dude, <laughs> you have given me, after a lifetime of prep replication, <laughs> a completely new and unique experience of prep replication. I'm and glad I, I could help. <laughs> I am in your debt. That is, um, that is amazing. Thank you. Michael. No, thank you. I mean, this is a story I've wanted to tell people, to share, <laughs> yeah. and and who better to share it with, and to the folks to share it with than than Adam Savage himself. So it's a it's a perfect sympathetic magic and a, a perfect magical place to do it within. Yeah, but thank you for coming. Look at that. <laughs>